Hi friends, here in this video, I'll be explaining Hooke's law. So let's get started. To explain the Hooke's law, I'm drawing the stress versus strain graph for the ductile material side by side in order to explain it. And the stress, stress versus strain graph, which I have drawn over here, it is only up to the proportional limit which is 0 to 1. It can even be drawn further, but in case of Hooke's law, only this much is required that is up to the proportional limit. Now what will happen over here? That in this graph for the ductile material, the moment we increase the stress, like for example, stress is on the y axis. So if this much amount of stress is there, then there will be corresponding strain in the material denoted by small e. Similarly, when I go on increasing the stress over here, strain value will also go on increasing. And finally, we are going to reach up to point 1 where the stress will be denoted by sigma 1 and the strain will be denoted by E1. So within this limit, we can see that the stress is directly proportional to strain, the graph being linear. It means the moment we go on increasing stress, strain also goes on increasing and that is the behavior up to point number one. Beyond point one, the behavior of the graph is in the form of a curve. It is somewhat like this. So now I won't be explaining the points which are further called as the yield point. For that, you all can refer my video for the stress versus strain graph for the ductile material whose link would be provided in the description below. So in that you all can see about the remaining points. Now the focus is only up to 0 to 1 that is up to the proportional limit. The moment we remove the load from this point number 1 the material is going to regain its original shape and size. So that is the proportional limit. So Hooke's law it says that within proportional limit the stress is directly proportional to strain. So stress is directly proportional to strain and therefore when I remove this proportionality sign here we have equal to and there is a constant. So therefore capital E is equal to stress versus strain. Where capital E is called as the Young's modulus or the constant of proportionality also called as the modulus of elasticity so this is the proportionality constant capital E called as the Young's modulus or the modulus of elasticity given by the ratio of stress versus strain and since strain doesn't have any unit the unit of Young's modulus will be same as the unit of stress that is Newton per mm square and this unit also depends upon the force and the area. For example, if the force is in terms of kilonewton, area in terms of centimeter square, then it would be kilonewton per centimeter square. So this is the SI unit, Newton per mm square, same would be the unit of the modulus of elasticity. So basically the output of, we can say from the Hooke's law is that we get the formula for the Young's modulus or the modulus of elasticity and that is for the ductile material. So in short, that was a video regarding the Hooke's law. At the end, if you all find my videos helpful, you all can like, share, comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends. Thanks for watching.